Starship Booster 7 finally lights up its army of vengeance. We'll go over what to expect next. Starlink is starting to turn a profit, and Falcon continues to be the heroic workhorse that it is. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. Since our last get together on Friday, SpaceX crews kept prepping stage zero for the upcoming 33N static fire and orbital launch attempt. They began installing pipage on the orbital launch mount for the new upgraded water deluge system. A road closure did take place on Tuesday, possibly for some kind of test with S25, but it didn't last long before it was lifted. Then on Wednesday, SpaceX COO Gwen Shootsgood attended the FAA's annual commercial space transportation conference and announced the company will attempt the B7 fire up on Thursday. After scrubbing their 12.30 p.m. window after their drones reportedly discovered a leak, the super heavy boom stick lit up its cluster of engines just after 4 p.m. Check out the other two angles provided by SpaceX. Full duration, but zero penetration. Below the OLM. Elon kindly following up that 31 out of 33 Raptors participated. One engine was switched off just before ignition and one aborted itself. Still, there was enough of them to reach orbit. It's not clear at this time what exactly the next steps are before the orbital mission. SpaceX could attempt another 33 engine static fire, but I'd be surprised. They could advance straight to bring S24 back to the pad for stacking, possibly do another full stack wet dress rehearsal or static fire. Regardless, the FAA still needs to approve a launch license for the major event, and the agency may or may not first require all Raptors to successfully light up. The major event will be attempted next month if remaining tests go well. That include the one that just occurred. Success is far from certain, but excitement is an Elon guarantee. The ultimate goal? Humans on Mars. Sometime between 5 and 20 years from now. It's quite the spread. Gwen stated during Wednesday's conference that she is shooting for 2030 to place earthly immigrants on Mars if not sooner. But living on the moon will be first. And she also touched on the importance of rocket production, aiming for 100 launches in 2023 and working up to building a starship per day. Which is important for more reasons than one, declaring they need to get to orbit quickly because people shouldn't fly before hundreds of uncrewed starship missions take place. Also saying tensions between SpaceX's fast innovation and regulators holding up the process needs fixed. Well, that's big government for you, isn't it? Concerning Starlink, Shotwell addressed the war in Ukraine and how the country had weaponized the internet service for offensive purposes, controlling drones against Russian forces instead of communications. Quote, we were really pleased to be able to provide connectivity and help them in their fight for freedom, but the Ukrainians have leveraged it in ways that were unintentional and not part of any agreement. SpaceX has since taken action to limit these offensive operations. She also informed attendees that Starlink will make the company money this year, and that it had a positive cash flow for last quarter, excluding launch costs. But this year, they'll be paying for their own ride to space. The next Falcon mission is a Starlink mission, currently slated for Saturday. On Monday this week, SpaceX launched a communications satellite for Amazonas Nexus, delivering the payload to geostationary transfer orbit 35 minutes after liftoff. The first stage flew for its sixth time and landed on the Just Read the Instructions drone ship bobbing on the Atlantic. Good call out there. Well, I'm calling it there, but it was good seeing you guys and gals. Thank you supporters for supporting the channel using the links below. Love you. And be sure to make the weekend a nominal one. Until next time, Godspeed.